talking about your sim right why it is needed we'll be talking about this thing and what exactly sim consists of till there we'll take and when we come back we'll start with the architecture and we'll learn how to make a good approach to build up a successful sock and then your case study i'll take at least one case study today i'll take so that you all can enjoy in a better manner and you understand what is the responsibilities okay so we'll sum up with the practical with everybody and let's see how much far we can go in that okay talking about this thing which is your sim mythologies right so like you gave me and i wrote like it's a facility which is required in order to improve your security posture of the company all right so over here as you can see like we use a very simple tagline prevention is better than cure correct that's a very common thing so security operation center you are getting logs from multiple sources first thing get it clear multiple sources when i say that means like it can be from a web server database server network desktops application all the other host vlan right it can be from anywhere right cyber attacks are not fully prevented you cannot fully prevent a cyber attack 100% defense 100% security is not possible 100% attack is not possible we always try and if we are succeeded we say that's an attack going on right we have to talk about apt also so don't forget that apt and threat normal threat will be talking making a difference over there okay so you must have seen like throughout this year this entire pandemic situation happened and we are working from home still cyber attack there is no limit lot of phishing attacks you must have seen encountered maybe into your gmail yahoo mail hotmail or outlook mails as well very common example bank phishing you must have seen this thing you cannot stop this thing even today christmas is there black friday has happened new year is coming people are coming with n number of possibilities network thing is also there right and phishing is there n number of things are possible okay so there is not just one day that goes uh, without any cyber crime news that there is a huge amount of leak of sensitive data around the globe solar we need to talk about fire is yes, uh, kd like we'll be talking about that too no issues in that signature based rule based detection guys these things are possible right sim can do this thing but we need to understand why it is needed first basic need is why it is needed okay so when we talk about this stuff to protect the sensitive data from exposure compliance with industry rules such as pci dss like i always say pci dss uh, hipaa sox is also there right uh, all these things are there for business to function smoothly improvise the risk posture uh, incident management and it helps you to damage your intrusion or the data breach it helps you to limit the damage of an intrusion or a data breach again i am saying 100% defense not possible okay now we have two things when we talk about heart of soc sim sim is nothing security incident event management it's a combination of two technologies one is known as sim another one is known as sem sem is nothing log collection and report generation and event management is nothing your analysis of event in real time and correlation of events right log collection and report generation log collection is one duty like you will be collecting from multiple sources report generation is also one of the responsibilities over here then analysis of events in real time and correlation of the event when i say correlation of the event over here that means you will be talking about two things are there and two similar patterns you see and you correlate and you do something productive right there is another thing that comes up over here too you will see with me normalization categorization prioritization we'll be talking about these keywords in a while for sure okay sim technologies uh, provide real time analysis security generated by network hardware and application or even host any kind of host can talk about these things right so going ahead further why do we need a sim solution like you can say to mitigate sophisticated cyber attacks increased volume of logs from multiple sources and uh, meet the compliance requirements and risk in the breaches due to an internal or external threat right see whenever we talk about this sim deployment or sock deployment thing internally also there is internal sock also external sock is also possible for example for example we talk about any kind of big four you take ey kpmg deloitte that has a team here in india 
that has the same team they are in uk us but most of them are working from india and providing the support to the uk client or us client so externally if we say you are a part of a company but yes your location base location is there and you're providing support similar to it bank yes a very good example bank right i was about to say let's suppose they require you bring in and deploy an external sock over there whenever the thing is there contract gets over it's all right internal sock easy to manage you have the team with you you can understand them better and you can make them work the way organization posture is there okay so attackers are smart and traditional security tools just don't suffice okay when we say this thing so you can see automation everywhere it is there correct traditional methods are there but we always find out a method as an attacker we always find out a method to bypass always you talk about o365 authentication outlook right especially we are talking about that one email gateway is there very simple example email gateway is there lot of security appliances there still email phishing email reaches to the inbox common example okay we have dos attack happening on the server external facing application are always on the risk always cool mitigate these sophisticated cyber attacks especially we are talking about apts over here i'll come to that keyword for sure apt that what is the differentiation over here manage the increased security volumes from multiple sources means like because you'll be getting logs from multiple right you cannot even know before sitting on the dashboard they will make you clear about the infra but still they keep on adding at the back end Right, and they will introduce you via mails or any communication channel they will introduce you that yes we are adding this thing to the splunk as well okay so that thing is also there and it will come it will come to the same solution and over there we maintain a database server so we'll be talking about the entire architecture guys for sure all right we'll be talking about the capabilities architecture and approach to build in successful SOC. right first thing is like aggregation alerts correlation retention and scalability when we talk about aggregation like we talk about we are getting logs from multiple sources inside the company inside the organization posture we are getting from server security databases application vlans host right public facing server also internal host also sys log server lot of things we are getting up alerts that you will be generating alerts or notification of the issues like i told you you will create some triggered alerts or you'll create some rule and next time it comes to the environment you should have an alert for it okay correlation correlation over here like uh, like i told you like two similarities that you see up inside the logs so you will correlate them event correlation is there data correlation is also there okay looks for common attributes and links even together into meaningful bundles all right this technology provide the ability to perform a variety of correlation techniques to integrate different sources in order to turn data into useful information it can be an ip address same source different source same pattern hashes can be same okay user agent can be same destination can be same possibilities are there all right when we talk about log retention over here so sim retains old logs and data for a longer period of time and facilitate correlation of data over time retention especially whenever we are talking about guys we have historical analysis and timeline analysis over there when i say it, historical and timeline analysis we are talking about old data old data means how far you can go back and you can compare with your current rules or data which you are getting inside the organization okay so when we talk about this retention there is a period according to the nist okay nist is national institute of uh, standard and technology this retainment generally people are doing one year in the company that means you can go one year back you can check what happened right so i would say your uh, like historical analysis and your timeline analysis okay and future prediction also whenever you talk about so sometime in very less reason us or uk is following other standard over here they will put two to three years but that that these things totally depend upon the infra as well so we cannot stick to it like india is saying okay one year every organization is one year no they can go beyond it but minimum is the one year 
they can go for 1.5 or 2 depending because you need a storage server for it okay so that we talk about over here and us and uk the same nest standardization is there so two to three years is their recommendation as per the nest right so that is there we can go for it and scalability like it has to be adaptable with the environment so let's suppose you are changing the environment you must have seen in this uh, situation we are working in the local environment sorry over here and then we are working over the cloud on-prem things right so everybody is moving towards it azure cloud is there google cloud is there aws is there and we do have implementation of sim solution as a service today we have SOC as a service okay people are giving it these kind of stuff because any kind of sim solution can be provided over the cloud as well splunk cloud version is there ibm cloud version is there azure sentinel cloud version is there okay so scalability is going ahead right now like this cool going ahead further on this this is the architecture which we were talking about okay collection normalization correlation database notification reporting and storage okay so as you can see like collection so i will not repeat it again you will get it from multiple locations around the organization normalization normalization i'll give you some hints over here if anybody can correlate with your real life okay so you can see like we have first normal form second normal form third normal form and we have bcnf that you must have seen in databases concept somewhere in your life okay so when we talk about this thing we can say the redundant log data is looked into some common patterns from different sources right so you have redundant entries from thousands of logs so those redundant things we will remove and we'll focus only on the main ones right so this understanding will come with the experience for sure it will not come at the first glance that normalization we always normalize the things and intelligent stuff over here is sim takes care of this thing so we don't have to do it manually but let's suppose you want to find the location correct so until and unless until and unless you don't have like which country you belong to or latitude or lang uh, longitude you have or ip address you have you cannot reach it up to the end part cool so you have to normalize the logs in that case you have to read the logs in that case and for that we need to perform some queries over there in that case they can give you these kind of stuff okay that is the thing no problem notification reporting and storage right so storage to be very frank like uh, storing event log for a longer period of time as for the nest i told you like one year recommendation in the indian market as of now and uk us they're using two to three years as a recommendation part you can go but it all depends upon the infra okay that is all over there 